Hey, it's MK and I am here with the collective. Um, it is a class that I am taking with Shannon Allure. She is hosting this awesome, amazing class and she's giving us a prompt every week to create something um, using our stash. It's kind of like a stash dive and each prompt kind of gets us to get out of the kits that we have been making or have or anything like that. So I'm showing you everything that I picked out based off of the first week's course or the first week's prompt. Now I can't tell you guys um, what it is because it is paid content. So I apologize if this all seems kind of sort of random and what I'm pointing out and everything else. Um, but basically what it is is that I'm just showing you guys everything that I will be using on the layout and the reasoning why I picked this background piece that has this really cool distressed circle on the inside is because it was a khaki color, all right? So um, that was basically uh, all I was doing it for. And now I'm going to do some random stamping. Now I'm going to um, put some Nouveau drops through a stencil and I do have to say that again, I have no idea where I am going to put my, um, where I'm going to put my pictures or my embellishments, anything. I have no idea. So I'm just kind of sort of putting, putting the Nouveau drops or the stenciled Nouveau drops where I think they're going to be seen. It's just a guessing game, basically. Um, and I don't squirt out a whole lot because trying to put the Nouveau back in the bottle kind of impossible. So I just scored out what I think I need and that is it. I love putting Nouveau through a stencil, you guys. It is my favorite way to um, actually get it to work, but it also doesn't take 24 hours to dry either. So I'm just going to quickly heat it with my heat tool and get it to dry so I can continue on to move. I mean, it is that fast to um, get a Nouveau through a stencil. It is super fast. I think that was the longest process of the entire video right there. Now I am going to go through um, after drinking coffee because, uh, you know, <laughs> that's what I do. I'm going to cut up my photos and then I realize that I have two of the exact same photo. So I'm going to put one of those off to the side. And I have one photo that um, is going to be a little bit larger than the other photo but I do want them to kind of sort of not be too small, if that makes any sense. But I knew that I needed to make one of them at least a little less than four. And I'm going to take this awesome mercury um, acetate, which is a Stampin' Up! product. It is just gorgeous. And I'm just going to cut it down to four and then however long my photos are. That's it. Super simple, um, no brainer cutting for a photo mat. That is how I kind of sort of like them. But I also wanted um, the photo mat to make it look like my train pictures are kind of floating off the page because of the fact that um, it's, I don't know, maybe like I didn't want a too dark of a, a photo mat around my photos. So anyways, I don't know. I just liked the idea of using acetate with the, well this mercury acetate behind and why it's called mercury i don't know it's what they chose so here's my title i'm going to put it down really quickly it is just the word yesteryear um basically this train sits in the center of what used to be um central elko and so it um where this train is parked like permanently lives it's the rest of its life is where the main line through Elko used to come. This is how people used to get to Elko, um, be dropped off in Elko, everything. And so in in a way, this represents, you know, old Elko. And it's it lives right in right in the center of what we call downtown. Um, and every time that people are going to the movies or um, uh, to specific restaurants, this is where they hang out until, you know, either their table is ready or, um, you know, their movie theater, you know, their, their tickets are their time for the show is ready. And so it, it's, it is just, I don't know. It, it's just a part of Elko basically. And, um, it, it's, 
it's amazing. And there's people out there that actually come and repaint this train um, every so many years. You can you can always tell when it has been repainted. It is it is a, a glory to see. Um, everything is still inside it. You can't actually go in the train to look, but you can see through all the windows that have been taken out so nothing breaks, no glass or anything, but they have been replaced by bars. Um, and it is just it's neat to see uh how this old how this old engine um still looks and everything like that um i know my kids enjoy enjoy climbing on it and hanging out on it and learning the history of it and then there's also a plaque at the corner of um the grass yard that this resides in because they they took out the train tracks and put grass all the way around it and kind of made it a little park but it's not really a park it's it's not it's not very big um, but <laughs> at the corner of one of, um, at, at the corner of this little park that they, uh, put the train in is like a story behind, you know, why this train is there because Elko has grown and where people enter Elko now is nowhere near where this train is. Um, and I just, I absolutely love it. I love learning the history of Elko. I love going into the older buildings in this district of Elko because they all have photos. Every single building inside has a photo of old Elko and um, what it used to look like when their building was Main Street. And it's just amazing watching, you know, seeing all the cars, seeing all the, all the trains, seeing the horse buggies, everything. And it's just, to me, it just makes me feel like we, like we still kind of, I'm glad we cherish it, but we also have that, um, you know, that, I don't know, it's, it's history, you guys, <laughs> and I just love it. So anyways, wow, I talked through that whole thing, and I am done. <laughs> Ta-da! I didn't do much, um, just picked out some train embellishments that I had handy from Creative Memories, also tore apart a pocket watch that my son had for many, many years, and used it as an embellishment as well. And I splattered and put enamel dots down, and I am done, that is it. Be sure to check out um, The Collective. She also has, once you pay for the class, she also has, uh, Shannon also has a Facebook group where you can share your creations as well as um, see what everybody else or how everybody else interprets the challenges that she is giving us. I absolutely love her classes. I love how laid back they are. And I love how it's just one assignment and you have all week to do it. So it's basically per your schedule. And uh, yeah, I just basically wanted to share that with you guys because she's awesome. All right. I will check y'all later. Bye.